Welcome back to part four of the Google Classroom series. This section is about grading, communication, and the Google Drive view. Let's take a look at the AP Chemistry class. It is telling me that I have one student in the class and I have one upcoming assignment. If I click to go to the desktop of that class, I can see from the stream I have a, an assignment that's due immediately. It says class rules and regulations and each student got a copy that I had asked them to sign of the rules and regulations for using Google Classroom in an online environment. It's telling me to the right of each side of these assignments that they have been turned in by one of the students. If I click on the assignment, it takes me to the student submission view. And had I had a whole class of students, I would have seen them listed here, and it would have told me who turned it in. If I click on the actual student name, it expands that student's work. Now, I can add a comment to the bottom of it, and the student themselves could have added a comment when they submitted it as well, and those comments would be private between that student and myself. I want to look at the actual assignment, and I can tell that the assignment is a Google Doc, because of the icon on the left hand side. When I click on it and it is a Google Doc, it opens up in my Google Doc and I have full edit access to it right now. I can add comments and I can add edits to the document itself. But basically this was a rules and, and etiquette document that each student got and I wanted to make sure that they signed it. So I'm just looking to make sure that they signed it, which they did. And then I can close back out and add a comment. And I can And if I wanted to give it a grade, at this location, I would choose what percentage of the total I would have. For, just as a quick example, if I click 100 and I choose to give this an 80, it's going to make it an 80 out of 100. But I'm going to make this ungraded for now. Now, when I'm finished with this and I return it to the student, I will no longer have edit access to it. I can still comment on the document, but I won't have edit access. One of the things that's really interesting is that although Google Classroom is giving you this front air area that's very easy to manipulate, it's actually also making changes on your Google Drive. When I, as the teacher, go to my Google Drive, what happens with Classroom is it creates a folder called Classroom. Here's a picture of that folder. And inside that folder is a subfolder of every class I create. So I just created the AP Chemistry class, and I also have the Library Media and Technology class and an iPad class. And here's the class that um, I joined that was created by another teacher, and I joined with a code. And they're all sitting here. If I go into the AP Chemistry class that I just showed you, every time I create an assignment, it creates a folder with that assignment's name on it. And inside those folders are each student's turned in assignments. So I always have a copy of what the students are returning back to me, and they have a copy of what they've turned in as well. From the student desktop for AP Chemistry, I see the stream and I see that I turned in both assignments because I have a green check mark both to, next to both. And if I go to my Google Drive, again, I have a folder called Classroom. And when I look inside that folder, there's my AP Chemistry class. And I may have my English class and my math class also. But right now, I only have my AP Chemistry class. And when I open that up, I see the two assignments that I've turned in. So I have a copy of my own assignments and my teacher has a copy of everybody's assignment. In this video, we covered what it looks like for a teacher when a student turns in their assignments, how to grade those assignments, and how to communicate with that student both privately and on the actual assignment document. 